Bob Beeman is the CEO of the Art of Olympians. He is a global learning center which brings it together the Olympic athletes to promote them in the highest ideas of humanity. So can you please, Bob, tell us about the Art of the Olympic Museum and the gallery? Well, we have the only one in the world, and it's a uh, museum that uh, has only Olympic athletes that are uh, the artists in all forms and shapes. Uh, could be uh, dancing, singing, but also uh, artistry, uh, fashion. It could be uh, as, as much as uh, paintbrushes, using the paintbrushes in their artistry. So we have a, a beautiful museum uh, in Fort Fort Myers, Florida. Now, Bob, is that with all the athletic, uh, Olympic champions from when the Olympics starts to the present day? Yes, we do. Absolutely. We have uh, uh, athletes, uh, example, Flojo. Um, we, we have Al Order. Uh, we have just a number, just a number of athletes that are uh, absolutely incredible and in their uh, in their time and their day. Now, for, from New Jersey, Carl Lewis, who went to the University of Houston, uh, he's from Willenboro, New Jersey. We live not far from Willenboro, one of the greatest Olympians of all time. Is there a lot of stuff of Carl Lewis in your uh, art museum? Yes, we've got some paintings of, of, of him. Uh, uh, we're working on getting one of his CDs, uh, singing CDs uh, of him. So, but, and of course, uh, uh, we're getting him here for the golf tournament here, uh, December 2nd through the 4th. Okay. Um, and where will your golf tournament be held, Bob? At the Colony in Bonita Springs. Uh, it'll be uh, December 4th, uh, December 2nd through the 4th. Evidently, that's out in California? That will be in Florida. In Florida. Okay, because you have to have a warm spot in December. <laughs> it couldn't be in Philadelphia, that's for sure. No, we need a Springs, Florida. Okay. Now, Bob, take us back to 1968 and Mexico City, and you setting the world record for the long jump. How was that jump great. for you, and, and, and what did you feel when you set the record? I felt great. I thought that this, this was a perfect day for me to, uh, uh, to pursue uh, an Olympic goal. I was very confident in uh, uh, being very aggressive and uh, thought, and uh, I said, hey, this is my day, and I'm going to be number one. And, uh, there was nothing that um, I think could have distracted me from, uh, from being first place that day. It was just a, a day of, of everything was perfect. Now, was that, Bob, was that your first jump? I know they give you several jumps. Was that, did you nail it on your first jump? Oh, yeah. I put one out there on my first jump. Uh, I, I didn't anticipate uh, doing it on my first. I thought I'd probably do it on the second, but the first was, the first was great. Let me ask you a question, Bob. You're, you, you hit the board uh, when you're going to take off, and all of a sudden you're flailing, and your legs and your arms are flailing, and you're in the air, and, you just keep on traveling more and more, and when you're up in the air and there, and you know you got to land in the sand pit and all, what was that feeling like when you were up in the air, knowing that you just nailed a, a, a perfect jump for yourself? What was that feeling like back then? I was, it was feeling great because I looked at my watch while I was up in the air. I noticed that it was, uh, uh, I had been up there for quite some time, so... <laughs> So maybe great. you made yourself dinner while you were up in the air or something like that. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, here's a nice thing that Bob Beeman got going on. They got raffle tickets here. You can win two raffle tickets to either the BCS National Title Game or to the Orange Bowl, includes airfare and hotel. Just go to www.art of the Olympians, uh, raffle.com, and you have a chance to win BCS title tickets. And we don't know who's going to be in the BS, BCS Bowl yet, but we have a good, pretty good idea that it's going to be one of four teams, Oregon, Kansas State, Alabama, Georgia, or Notre Dame. So actually one out of five, two of those teams will play for the national title. And then going to the Orange Bowl is always a great bowl game also, part of the BCS. So either you go to the national game or you go to the Orange Bowl. 
I might want to go to the Orange Bowl. It sounds like more fun. There's more history in the Orange Bowl than there's in any stadium in the world when it comes to the Super Bowl or college football. Well, you can get us at, uh, you can connect with us at AudibleOlympians, uh, raffle.com. That's number one. Number two, uh, the tickets are $25 and three for 50 So this is uh, going to be an incredible uh, opportunity for some someone to win these two tickets to the BC Tim. BCS well, and that is a fun event to go to. You get your airplane, you get your hotel accommodations taken care of for you. You're in a national spotlight. The two best teams in all college football play one another, and you can be there. So now you can get the tickets one for twenty five dollars or three for fifty dollars. Right. Okay. That, that's a wonderful. That's a that's a wonderful pick there. 